For everything that we've seen in the history of gaming, few games have come close to matching the attention to detail seen in Hideo Kojima's titles. Whether it's Metal Gear Solid or Death Stranding, there are all kinds of incredible things to see. Let's take a look at 15 of the most insane details here. Psycho Mantis and Breaking the Fourth Wall in Metal Gear Solid an incredible presentation and production values are just some of the things that Metal Gear Solid was lauded for. Its attention to detail is no joke either, even by today's standards, and the encounter with Psycho Mantis stands out most. It's a boss battle that doesn't start immediately. Instead, Mantis will talk endlessly, breaking the fourth wall to address the player. It was crazy at the time, especially when one had to switch their controller to the second port to actually fight back. But it was only the beginning for the saga. Ice cubes melting in real time, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. With the added power of the PS2, Konami Computer Entertainment Japan did some really incredible stuff with Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Whether it was improved visuals or vastly superior enemy AI, it was a big step up from its predecessor. The same obsessive attention to detail still persisted though. For instance, if you hang around some ice cubes for long enough, they'll slowly melt over time. Though fairly inconsequential to the gameplay, it's still an incredible thing to behold. Snake Shadow, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Another interesting detail occurs in Tanker Hold 2 during the prologue. Numerous soldiers are gathered and observing a presentation on the projector. If Snake accidentally passes by the projector, his shadow will be visible on the screen and alert everyone, resulting in a quick game over. The only way to proceed undetected is to crawl on the ground. Adjusting to the dark, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Many wouldn't have noticed, but after entering a new dimly lit or dark area in Metal Gear Solid 3, it slowly becomes more visible. That's because, just like in real life, Snake's eyes are slowly adjusting to the environment, revealing more as time goes on. Given the sandbox style that the sequel went with, seeing all of this achieved on the PlayStation 2 is particularly impressive. Stamina draining faster in mountains, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. There's a fair bit of ground to cover in MGS3, but for the most part, players should be able to manage. However, once you get to a mountainous area like Krasnogorge, your stamina will start draining at an alarmingly fast rate due to the air being thinner. Of course, there are other factors that can contribute like carrying too much gear, having leeches or tranks stuck on your person, and so on. Once again, reinforcing the survival sandbox mechanics. Waiting for the ends, end. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Of the many different ways to effortlessly kill a boss, this solution against the end has stood the test of time. In what's essentially a sniper duel, you're outmatched and outgunned. It's very difficult to predict the end's location, much less avoid his shots. There was one definite way to defeat him though. Simply turn off the game and come back a good 8 days later. Or set your PS2's system clock ahead to the same point. Upon returning, Snake will discover that the end has died. That's because, despite being able to sit in one spot for extended periods of time without nourishment, going 8 days without moving is simply too much. Other methods would be discovered later, like sniping him near Ponizovja Warehouse, thus preventing the battle from even happening. Octocamo Patterns Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots As an evolution of the camouflage mechanic from its predecessor, the Octocamo in Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots was something very unique. It could adapt to one's surroundings, changing the suit's textures into bricks, sand, and even handprints on concrete like dozens of different pieces of clothing which Metal Gear Solid 3 also had with its camouflage, except shifting and changing on the fly. Visions of Death Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots Given all of the bullshit that Snake has endured in his life, it wouldn't be strange to feel like something was off every time he died. In Metal Gear Solid 4, calling Rosemary after dying will see Snake talking about seeing visions of his death. If stabbed to death, he'll have visions of the same. Upon drowning, he'll claim to have a gut feeling of drowning before, and talk about paying more attention to his O2 gauge, even coming up for air more regularly. All of this was just a way for Rose to offer up tips on how to avoid death, read not getting stabbed, but it was cool all the same. Electrocuting enemies in water, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, even on the PlayStation Vita, Kojima Productions incorporated several nuanced details, right down to the number of different ways to knock out guards. 
For instance, in Peace Walker, if a guard is in a body of water, you can use a teaser to electrocute and knock them out from a distance. They don't drown though, nor does Big Boss get shocked if he's in the water because even the PSP has its limits. Drowning Unconscious Enemies, Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain There's a crazy amount of tools available in The Phantom Pain, from camouflage to tranquilizer shots that can aid stealthy playthroughs. If you're aiming to not kill anyone, then you might want to be careful when knocking out enemy soldiers. If they fall into a body of water while unconscious, they'll drown because of course they would. Electrocution, Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain Compared to Peace Walker, you're in as much danger as your enemies when it comes to electricity in The Phantom Pain. Knock down a utility pole, for instance, and it will electrocute Big Boss if it falls on him. It's definitely something to avoid while raining as well, since the ground near it can become dangerous. Sam's Movement in Death Stranding For as straightforward as the gameplay loop in Death Stranding can be, the sheer detail implemented in every aspect, right down to Sam's different movements, is insane. When walking on sloped terrain, his weight will shift accordingly, and he'll use his hands for balance. Upon traversing through puddles, he'll actually attempt to step on the more shallow parts. Small details, but still important ones that contribute to a more immersive experience. Raindrops sliding up in BT territory, Death Stranding. When BTs make their presence known, usually with the downpour of timefall, the usual rules are turned upside down. The rain does fall on the ground like normal, but upon careful observation, you'll notice that raindrops will slide up on the camera's lens. Perhaps this is to further reinforce the abject terror of BT-occupied territories. Porters Making Deliveries – Death Stranding there are other porters besides Sam making deliveries in the world, and it's fun to observe them. If you follow some porters, they'll walk the entire distance of their journey and actually deliver packages to different locations. They'll also occasionally stumble on uneven terrain and in water, along with using timefall shelters created by the player to escape the rain. Timefall's Effects – Death Stranding Speaking of timefall, it's incredible to witness its effects in real time. Vehicles and items will degrade in real time, while exposed plants will grow and quickly die. There's even a scene where a single drop of timefall on Sam's hand will age that specific part. If that weren't enough, timefall snow is also a thing, and will cause items exposed to it to degrade over time. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.